Good morning, my friends. I've come to this extremely muddy pathway here. And it goes on for three quarters of a mile. Whew. I've walked a couple of hundred yards along it at the moment. But it's, uh, it's gonna be a good test for my new, my wellies. <laughs> I've put some insoles in them as well for a bit of comfort because they were rock hard on the bottom. So this is mainly just a good test for these boots. Because <laughs> they were cheap. I think they were 20 quid briar boots. But uh, I think this path gets worse in certain points, if I remember correctly. So we'll just see how they cope in these extreme conditions. So I'll bring you back in a minute. Yeah, woodpecker. There he is. Let's see if I can get him again. Over there somewhere. Nature. So this is a bridal way. Public bridal way. As you can tell. <laughs> Here we go. I think this is where it starts getting really, really muddy. But, <laughs> you know, you got these sort of wellies on, these boots. You don't have to, you don't care, do you? You can just step anywhere, really. It's just a matter of getting them comfortable. You know, it's like a bit of storm damage here. Good old Storm Eunice, a couple of weeks ago. Oh. Yeah. It's okay not being bothered where you're walking, but you've still got to tread gingerly along these paths. You do not want to slip up. The eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed in my last video. I've had the old barnet cut. <laughs> Two years. Uh, I've got it cut. March 25th, 2020. Two days into the first lockdown. I had a grade three buzz cut all over. And I said uh, at the time, because my missus done it in the kitchen, <laughs> believe it or not, with the clippers. And I said, I'm not getting my hair cut again until all restrictions are gone and life's back to normal. And that was last Thursday. So I had it cut on the following Friday. And I did do a little time-lapse video of the procedure. It took 15 minutes to cut it, but the video lasts 30 seconds, so if anyone wants to see it, I'll put it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is uh, good to get all, especially when I'm in bed, my hair my air was all over the place. And uh, I definitely felt the cold on my neck and my ears after I had it done when I walked out. But yeah, it's good to have it all shorn. I think this is the first time you've ever seen me without me hat on <laughs> in all my videos. So, yeah, this is what I look like in real life. Pretty treacherous, pretty boggy.
got ourselves a little weather station here. I guess. I'm guessing that's what it is. There's not a lot of wind today. So hopefully this uh, iPhone won't pick up too much wind. I've got a mic on the way, <laughs> an external mic. It will be coming soon, hopefully, not too long. Yes, very interesting. Wonder if this tap works. to know, isn't it? In the watering trough, it's handy to know that it's uh, working. I think you'd have to filter it if you're going to use it, but it's good to know it's there. Well, I've got to say, these wellies are very waterproof, <laughs> as you'd expect wellies to be, but the insoles I put in them make a world of difference. Very comfortable indeed. Now, these boots. It's a pheasant over there. Might be getting called to. Retain. Well, say so tame. It's not really, is it? <laughs> Just cautious. It's answering the call. <laughs> We've had a bit of storm damage in this woods. Just found an IKEA. I don't know if you can see a, an IKEA pencil. <laughs> IKEA gets everywhere. I've also found. I mean, I'm not sure. It smells very terpsy. If you know what I mean. But if it could be a bit of fatwood, so I'm going to dry it out. See what. See if it is fatwood. I think I'll sit down on this stump, cook my fish up. There is a road just beyond that hedge there. So, uh, obviously, being winter time or early spring now as it is, there's no leaves on these. I don't know what they are actually, it could be hazel. You can see a car go by now, you can see how close we are to the road. There we are. Yes, yeah, so I'll just sit on this stump, get the old train to your burner out. I noticed a dog walker over there, there's a pathway over that way. I think I should be okay here. I'm just going to put this tarp on this stump. Not a bad little spot, sitting in. Don't know if anyone can actually see me sitting down here. Apart from the road behind me. <laughs> Water's starting to boil. 
see steam coming out of the kettle. That might be long. Frothy Irish latte. Can't beat that. <sighs> oh, yeah. Right. Let's get some fish on. I forgot to bring any butter with me. I've got no salt and pepper. Just this bit of olive oil. And I'll show you what I've got to eat. So I've got my bread and butter. But I've got, got this fish pie mix. There you go. Uh, cod, smoked haddock, and salmon. Sounds good, doesn't it? So I'm going to chuck it in there, cook it all up. Mix it all up together, put it in some bread. That chainsaw is starting to sound remarkably close when it goes off. I don't know if it's the sound carrying or what, but yeah. Let's get this fish on. Tell you what, you can smell that fishy loveliness. Take that with me. Leave no space. I break it all up a bit as well. Oh. The only problem with fish cooking is it, it's not the most subtle, you know, you can smell that mile away, can't you? <laughs> fish when it's cooking. But hopefully we'll be okay here. Wish I bought some butter in here. Oh well, next time. It's all getting mixed into one. Try a bit, see if it's hot enough. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's done. Oh, that tastes so good. Oh, unbelievable. How the hell am I going to get that out? Give me glove on. <laughs> Had to burn yourself in one easy go. Done it in the end. Do it properly. There we go. I can hear a vehicle on the move in here. 
So I'll get spoon out and spoon some of this in. Very awkward. I think a bit of this fish just went into my willy. <laughs> so I just do half. Yeah, let me move it down. There we go. See how much of this I can keep in this sandwich. Oh, that is one fat fish sandwich. So good. Hmm. I'm beginning to think I should have got me plate out. I'm very near. Nearer than it probably sounds on here. Mm. No, <clears throat> I'd never be able to cook this indoors. Because as you know, Mrs. Rob the Rover hates fish, hates the smell of it. I would love it. I'm just gonna cook it outside. Oh. Time to make another one. <laughs> Gloriously messy. Maybe I won't put so much in this time. I think I overloaded that one. So, cod, smoked haddock and salmon. A great fishy combination. Okay. Not quite so much in there this time. And I'll finish the rest off. I'll just shovel it in with a spoon. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Oh my god. It might have been better. And I'll bring you up. Might have been a little bit better with some butter in it. Maybe a little bit of white pepper. I love white pepper with fish. But it's bloody lovely. Mm. So I'm gonna do the usual. A bit of a pig of myself. I'll bring you back in a minute. The tractor just went by the, the road with a load of wood on it. I wonder if it's what they've been cutting down over there. I'm just going to finish it off. <laughs> it's beautiful.
Und komm. Oh, la fish. I think, <clears throat> you know, if someone said to me, you have to give up. You can only eat one meat, meaty thing for the rest of your life. It will be hard press, I think, between beef and fish. I think with fish, it's a lot more, um, or, or seafood in general, I think. There's a lot more variety there, isn't there? I think I'd have to keep the fish. It'd be difficult. All those steaks I won't be able to eat anymore. But fish, oh, it's lovely stuff. Good for you too. Omega-3. Cod liver oil. I like oily fish, you know. I love fish like uh, pilchard tomato sauce and that's lovely. I do like that. Coffee's nearly done as well. <sighs> lovely. Wish it was a real Irish latte. <laughs> That'd be nice. <clears throat> Irish latte. Me spoon and fork away. Just want to put this glove on. I'm going to put the other one on as well. Got some sphagnum moss here. I mean, this pan's been well burnt, isn't it? Find another bit. I'll do the inside. Uh, that's a little bit there. Just get the most of it off. Well, that's got rid of most of it, isn't it? Make it easier for when I get home. I do like using this uh, thing with the Trangia burner, but do you know one thing that keeps in bug bugging me is this bit here. It keeps getting bent for some reason. I mean, you can straighten it, <coughs> but it soon it just goes back. <laughs> I mean, it's not a big deal, but what can I say? Very useful little thing this bush box XL. I'm a big fan of it. Looks like they've had a bit of storm damage here. Quite bad too. So this tree here, he's left that stump there, came off the top, didn't break down the bottom, not like this one did. So, thanks for coming out and about with me. I'm going to go back to the car now, so it's not too far away. Um, I think I gave these wellies a good test, didn't I? 
and they're a lot more comfortable now I've got the gel insole put in them. I mean, I've walked a good three miles a day, I would have thought, or all told. Two and a half, three miles, something like that. So, um, and that fish sandwich, oh my God, I do love that. Nice fish mix. But thanks for coming along with me today. And uh, I'll see you next time when I'm roving about, wherever it may be. See you soon. Bye.